Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew and this is the Just a Guy Linux YouTube channel. I uh, haven't felt well in the last couple weeks so I'm back to a normalish kind of like uh, level with my voice so I thought I would put a video out. It's long overdue. Um, so in the last series we did XFCE on Debian testing and I was very happy to see that uh, Matt from the Linux cast uh, gave XFCE some love on his recent podcast and uh, thought that was great. So anyway, during our last chat we had talked about resources and I'm making the uh, desktop as light as possible. So what I want to do is notice how light this is when we're talking about just the minimal Debian stable. So the, you know, big, based on what you see on the screen, I'm using Debian 11 Bullseye, and it is running super light, like at 100, and, let's just call it 120 uh, megabytes. I do have to do a couple things real quick. All right, I'm going to sudo apt install zram tools I forgot to do this and you know I don't like to edit my videos and so I'm going to go to sudo nano uh, default zram swap so back a month or so ago you know I did an entire um, installation of Debian minimal uh, Debian stable and it's probably the most popular video on the channel and I'm gonna put a link in the description or like right here on the screen if I can figure out how to do that um, and what I'm gonna do is defer to that particular video to get to where I am right now basically I haven't done anything this is a brand new Debian stable minimal install and we're going to install Openbox as the only uh, desktop environment on there. Actually, it's not a desktop environment. It's a window manager, but let's, let's go there. So what I want to do is I want to oh, install Git. Okay. And as you know from other videos, I typically write an installation script for you. And I've done that as well. Let me go ahead and clear the screen and say git clone https github.com slash my repository is at Drew Griff and it is open box hyphen install. Okay, and let's go into the open box install directory and ls-lah notice there is a dot config directory in this uh, you know in this um, git clone this repository you know that the, the scripts that I wrote uh, what we need to do first of all sorry is um, make the install script executable I did not do that before ahead of time so I need to do that <coughs> excuse me so what are we going to do with this install script? Let's go ahead and look at it. And as you can see, I've installed, like I always do, the XORG group. Uh, I did install a few more uh, things uh, in, this X, in, in the XORG group. And I, because I think that I should do that if, especially if people aren't trying to install this on a laptop, okay? Installing build essential microcode, file tools, enabling the Avahe and the ACPID daemons, uh, file manager. So I'm installing PCMANFM this time around, okay? And I am installing Terminator as our terminal. There are, with Pulse Audio, there are the um, packages needed for sound. Installing NeoFetch and HTOP the network manager and the GNOME network manager. I'm installing LX Appearance in Firefox. Installing Fay. 
Um, I've got some icons and some fonts in this section. And here are the packages we need. All right, open box and dunced. And menu, PyCom, we're installing Rofi, Tent2, these are the most important ones. So it's, you know, and then the XFCE4 power manager in case you do have a laptop. All right. And instead of LightDM, we're going to be installing LXDM. Uh, it is a light uh, window, or sorry, login manager. And then I'm also just kind of configuring the, uh, the setup for the files needed that we can edit later in this section. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but you'll, you'll get the idea once we're actually in the, um, in the installation. So did I change anything? I'm just going to say Control O. Control Q, oop, ah, Control C, Control X, sorry. Um, and then so let's let's go ahead and install. All right. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, with how light the build is when you have nothing on it, that we may be able to get away with maybe. 250 meg of RAM. So I'm going to, you know, when it right comes right down to it, when we first in, boot into the um, open box, I'm hoping that it's like in the 350 meg of RAM kind of like uh, range. We'll see. Which is about, you know, let's call it half of what XFCE is and most of the other desktop environments. With OpenBox, it's a floating window manager. So it's not, you know, I use a tiling window manager for my personal use, like for my production machine that I use every day. I use i3. Uh, but I have, I kind of like used, I, uh, sorry, OpenBox for about a month or so and really liked it and recognized how um, snappy it is, how quick it is. And for people that are um, conscious for how much, how many resource, how much RAM you're using and stuff like that, I mean, you might only have like a really old machine that has two to four gig, uh, gigs of RAM or lower, and you, this might be something that you can run on that. Maybe even a Raspberry Pi. Not sure. I've never, I've never tried that before. Uh, but we're going to give this a shot and probably use the open box uh, for two, three videos, and this being the first one. Uh, I don't think we we're going to get very far on this particular video because I can already feel my, uh, my voice waning. <laughs> so let me, while, this is, while this is running, let me get a drink of water. <clears throat> All right. That helped a little bit. Yeah, but I'm not going to make it much longer. So let me get through the installation of OpenBox and maybe a couple of things. And then um, we'll, we'll do another one probably the following, you know, tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to apologize for not sounding like myself. <clears throat> So it's going to take, uh, I don't know, five, six minutes to run through all these um, installation packages. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention how many people have kind of subscribed this week. You know, I haven't, like I said, I haven't done a video this week, but people have been watching the videos that I have currently and have been subscribing at a really good rate. I think I'm over on like 185. Something like that. Uh, maybe more. I'm not going to look right now. <laughs> but, you know, thank you. Thank you for subscribing for all of you that have. Appreciate it. All right. Well, there went the Pulse Audio group.
So the network manager. I don't know why I chose to kind of use Debian stable again rather than Debian testing. I just kind of thought that um, if we're going to do something as try to be as light as possible, I'm not sure what the better uh, option would have been. But since I know this works, um, I think that maybe this would be this is just my choice basically right now i thought that it was probably the, the better choice of the two because um, open box could be a little twitchy i think we're almost done right Oh yeah, there's the LXDM. Okay. So once this clears, um, it's just I think it's going to install like or not install, but it's going to uh, run two commands and then we're done. Right. Okay. So very well. Let's go ahead and sudo reboot. Okay, so when we get through the grub, you know, we're going to be greeted with the uh, LXDM login screen. We're about there in a second. There you go. Now, this is not something that is going to stay this way. I mean, I have, a, I have an idea that we're going to be editing this particular, make this look a little bit more cool uh, in one of the future videos. But I went ahead and selected OpenBox just so that there's no uh, discrepancy here. And I'm going to click on my name and then type my password. And that is it. We're logged in. Okay. Uh, this is a bank blank screen basically, and it has a uh, you know a background image. But if you want to know, you know, if you want to see that it's uh, been installed correctly, right click anywhere on this screen anywhere on your screen where there's an open space right click and you're going to see that it's mouse you know is it going to be a right click menu no matter where you are so it's quick so if i go and let's just say i'm working down here and i'm like oh okay boom right click and then i can get to my menu rather than have to go all the way either to the corner or you know or, or you know top right top left corner or have a bar or anything like that Everything is on the right click menu. And when I click on terminal emulator, Terminator uh, comes up. Let me go ahead and cool. And I want to free dash H. Let me make this bigger. Ooh, I'm not good at this, am I? There we go. How about that? So 330 plus 23. So it's about 350, right? Let me type Neo fetch. 368. All right. Well, it's still like half of what um, XFCE is. Let me go ahead and do a couple things though while I'm doing this. Okay. I'm going to go into the terminal preferences and profiles and I'm going to take off the show title bar. I want my cursor to be, I mean, underline. I want to disable the scrolling. And I want Cascadia code regular. Does it have a regular? Cascadia code. Let's call it light. And say select. And ls. I don't know if that's right or not, but let's go ahead with that for now. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to show you that the right menu has just about everything in it. There's Firefox, if you would, if, if you, you know, but you don't have to because uh, the default web browser is Firefox for right now. 
Okay, so if I click on that, you know, Firefox will definitely come up. And if I right click over here, you know, I can go to System and Tent 2. There's and all the stuff that you are looking for is on the right click menu. Okay, so what I want to do first is notice that there's no bar. Okay. And that's because we haven't told it to show a bar yet. All right. And so I want to go and look at my utilities and file manager. And there is the file manager. I'm going to go ahead and close this and get this out of the way. Okay. I'm going to write and I'm going to go ahead actually to preferences. For you, those of you who haven't used PC Man FM, it's really great very light i'm going to go to detailed list i'm going to dis to layout i personally don't like the trash can it's just i don't know i don't know that i want applications but i'll leave it in i'll leave it in for now devices and network are good and let's close that and let's show the hidden files okay and just to make things easier I'm gonna move a bunch of stuff to the bookmarks section so I'm gonna say to the dot config I'm gonna add I'm going to add to the bookmarks downloads and documents and open install open box install and pictures and you can do whatever you want but that's that's good for now okay so what I want to do is I want to go to the dot config open box directory okay now I want to go to the auto start I don't actually have a text editor do I so let's do this um, let me go to terminal and say sudo apt I can do this like in nano or micro. I'm just do it in micro. How about that? Um, but let's also do it in Genie. So micro and Genie, I'm installing both of them right now. Okay. Okay. Let's close that and let's open this with Genie. Okay. All right, now I don't need anything here. So I'm going to just take basically auto start. Notice everything is commented. Okay, so let's basically take all the lines out except these are the things that are run when an open X, open box X session is started. Okay, let's make another space. Let's go down and say um, compositor. All right. And we're going to say PyCom is going to be our compositor. And I want to space and hit the ampersand so that it knows that it, so that it doesn't stop. It continues. OK. And I'm going to go to and let's say let's call this notifications. And we're, you know, we installed Dunst. OK. So we're going to install we're going to uh, start Dunst when we start up and we need the ampersand okay and we're going to go to let's say wallpaper let's okay while we're here all right let's keep this open we went to the open box install i want to use this wallpaper for this uh, example so i'm going to go ahead and copy this and let me put this in the pictures directory okay paste okay so when I do wallpaper I'm gonna go um, wall wallpaper and I'm gonna use we installed fe so we're gonna go fe and then dash dash BG hyphen fill okay and we're gonna use the tilde and pictures and we're going to wallpaper 
dot png. Okay. Oh, and we need a sorry, we need a uh, ampersand after that too. So ampersand here. Good. And let's go. We're going to open up panel so that we're not so because I know most people use panels. And we're going to uh, start it by doing it's. This is like a you know not just a panel, but it's a um, panel task bar sys tray clock or clock battery so on. Okay, and we're going to use uh, we're going to say tint two. We installed that during our build and hit ampersand and we're going to put the volume um, in the taskbar so we need to do the volume icon and to do that it, it's twitchy so you need to um, sleep <coughs> excuse me for 10 seconds and then let's open volume icon and let's close paren and hit ampersand. And the last thing I want to do is do network manager and we're going to use the nm hyphen applet and ampersand. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and close everything. And let's, while we're here, let's go ahead to terminal and just say sudo reboot. Okay. So I think we're going to, we're going to, I, I don't think I have enough voice for the rest of this. So we're going to close it after, hopefully if this works. <laughs> if it doesn't work, then we're going to stop and fix it. And then we're going to, uh, Make sure that it does work and we're going to move on uh, to the next thing so i'm going to hit log in oh and there's everything so basically um, the only thing that i'm going to be missing and that's going to be in a few seconds is the volume icon and that should show up in a second there it is okay down here master 46 percent and this is the bar and we're going to talk more about the tent 2 panel uh, next time. All right. Well, thanks a lot and see you next time.